Good morning. This morning I am off to the chiropractor. And yes, Jason put my coffee in my car for me. That's why my Yeti cup was already in my car. I think that is so sweet when he does that. He is home working today and he has meetings. So I have a little bit of things to do this morning and I'm taking you along with me. The chiropractor went really well. And now I don't go out. I can pull out on this road, but I don't. What I do is I cut across this little parking lot and come out to that light because otherwise I usually cannot get out on that road because I have to turn against traffic. Isn't that a nice cane sitting there? And right next door is my car wash. All of our trees seem to have bloomed overnight. Okay, we are gonna go into the car wash. It looks like it might be a little busy, but I have the quick enter, so I can just buzz right on through and buzz past everybody. But it's supposed to be 95 degrees today. That's why I think this place is so busy. There are a lot of police officers out today. Those two make four of them that I've seen so far today. Hmm, wonder if something's going on or if they're just out and about. I don't know if you can tell or not, but Chick-fil-A is very, very busy right now. They're not always like that, so that's good to see. Well, until noon, then they are. We are driving around the building at CVS because I need to quickly go up to the pickup window and pick up a prescription. And it looks like they're not busy. Yay, no waiting for me today. Right here, this is our little neighborhood. And there's trees that line the entranceway. We had a really hard winter a couple winters ago and some of the trees did not survive. <laughs> I see that some of them they're trying to prune back to get them to start growing again, but I don't know. They'll probably just end up replacing them. This morning was garbage pickup, so I need to bring in our garbage bin. Now that we're home, I have made up one of the best marinades. You have got to give this a try. It is a Greek chicken marinade. So good. You take two tablespoons of olive oil, three tablespoons of lemon juice, one tablespoon of white wine vinegar, two tablespoons of oregano, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of pepper. I will have this linked below, seriously. <laughs> Give it a try. It is I'm in front of the camera because I got my face on. <laughs> okay, so Miranda had asked me if I could show my refrigerator organization. Now, <laughs> I had gotten a side-by-side -side fridge and freezer because of the ice maker in the door. This one has a mind of its own and it'll stop working and then it works again, and then it stops working, the ice maker. So I wish I would have just forgot all about the ice maker, never went with it, and kept it where the freezer's on the bottom and the refrigerator's on the top. <sighs> that being said, I don't have much organization going on in my refrigerator. I wish I could figure out a way to really organize this refrigerator, but I will show you just what I'm doing. It's an absolute mess, so please forgive me for that. I've gotta get in there and get things cleaned out. This is what I'm doing. I have this container and it holds my salad dressings. If I can find this on Amazon, I'll have it linked below. This is a mess too. I have apples in this container. I put my cheeses in here so I remember to eat these up. And I also have some turkey pepperoni. I just sat these in here too so I remember to eat those up. And then this is my fruits I keep in organizers. And that's all I'm doing for that refrigerator. I have searched through Pinterest trying to figure out how to better organize this teeny tiny little fridge. It just seems like it's cramped. And when we open the door, it's like we're like this, trying to dig through the fridge. It's just, it's not my favorite. 
but <laughs> the one in the garage is a lot larger that's the one with the fridge on the top and then the freezer on the bottom so we keep all our extra things out there and drinks out there and i'll show you what i'm doing in that one so out here we are using the drawers for tea and we have Coca-Cola and stuff and pop in this one too. And then I have a lot of these plastic bins. I will have these linked below. Love them. Like I've said before, I keep my meats in it and they thaw out in these little bins. And then if the juices seem to leak out of the bag, I can just take the whole bin inside, wash it out, and it is done. So I have this one here. I keep this here for anything that we need. And then I have a smaller one as well, and we can keep stuff in here too. So that is the organizers for this fridge. I also have two can holders on the top shelf so that it's just easy grab for their pop. And then all the extras we're keeping in the drawers. In the freezer in the garage, I have this bin here. It's just a plastic bin. You could probably pick this up at the dollar store, but I'll have them linked if I can find them. I keep all of my frozen vegetables in here that I can. And then I have popsicles for the summer in another one here. We have ice, see we have to keep ice on hand because our ice maker just has a mind of its own. It just quits working so we gotta have ice. I also try to keep bins, extra bins, just on the shelves and stuff out here in case I need them to grab to put something into, especially with freezers. And that helps with like when we're buying big bulk items at Sam's, I can put those big bulk items in those containers in the freezer and it just helps them to stay in one area. So I'm sorry, Miranda, that I'm not like super organized with my fridge or freezers, but maybe that helps give you some ideas of how to contain things a little more. And you guys, if any of you know of where I can find some ideas for organizing my side-by-side -side fridge and freezer, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to get that thing a lot more organized than what it is. Oh man, look what my wonderful husband got for lunch today. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. <laughs> he didn't realize he was on camera. That's why he's like looking at you like, <laughs> am I? Am I not? I don't know. I don't know when she pushes the record button. <laughs> you poor know. thing. Huh? I never know. No, you don't. <laughs> But I love Wendy's grilled chicken sandwich and with WW it is six points for the grilled chicken sandwich and then I just discovered because I'm still getting used to everything that a baked potato is zero for me. So I am having a grilled chicken sandwich and a baked potato and lunch is only six points and an iced tea, right? Unsweet iced tea. Unsweet iced tea. Yeah. What do you got? Hey, I know I'm on camera. Good job. I got a spicy chicken sandwich and a baked potato with chili and cheese. Yum. Mm. And what did Cooper get? He got chicken nuggets. You got chicken nuggets, buddy. I have our first load of laundry is in the washer. Look at this. The same company, Paris Roan, that sent me the frother that I had in my last video, they sent me a desk lamp too. And they said that they have a discount code down below if you're interested. But I'm gonna take this out of the box and I'll show you in just one second. Wow, this folds right down and it's black, which is perfect. So I'll show you the different stages of this desk lamp. First, you can fold it flat or you can have it just standing up with it closed. Look at that. That is nice, and that will reach right across a desk. This is an awesome feature, it swivels. Oh my goodness. Okay, so then it has an easy glide, you just touch it like that, and then you can glide your finger across this and it goes all the way up. You hit this and it changes to dimmer light. Do you see that? That is so cool. And then you glide your finger back down. And then to shut it off, you just hold this and it shuts off. Wow, I am so impressed with this desk light. I will have their discount code linked below. Definitely try it out if you're in the market for a desk lamp. This is really nice. Jason's getting ready for another meeting and we watched 
It's called Murdoch Mysteries. It's on Hulu. Have you ever seen it? It is really good. It's set back in like the 1800s and it really keeps you guessing on the mysteries. If you're into something like that, they're not gross. There's no nudity, anything like that. They're just a really good mystery. There's quite a few of you that are new to my channel, so welcome. I am so glad you're here. But Mrs. G has been in my life since I was nine years old and she is like my second mom and I'm gonna run out really quickly and get her a Mother's Day card we have finally arrived at Mardell this is where I'm going to get her Mother's Day card it is absolutely gorgeous out the Sun is bright the sky is clear I don't even see a cloud in the sky to be honest with you I can't believe it reached 88 and it's climbing because when I left the house it was 86 and once I just parked the car it bumped up to 88. Okay, I'm gonna go in and hopefully they have a good selection of Mother's Day cards. That is the busiest I have seen it in a long time. My goodness, that's good to see that. Okay, that was really easy. Just grab the card and, I mean, it was basically the first one that I saw, which is amazing. I love it. That would be my friend Kimmy from She's in Her Apron. <laughs> Me and her Marco Polo each other. A lot <laughs> probably like every single day <laughs> okay I'm heading home okay I'm putting my grocery order in I've had stuff sitting in the cart for um, a couple days but I forgot to see if oops if I have milk so I'm gonna see if I we got about a half a gallon I'm gonna see if we have any out in the garage I don't think we do and if we don't then oh I don't know I don't know if I should get more or not okay it is really warm out here in this garage. Wow. I don't have any milk. And I have a half of a gallon. I'm going to go ahead and order it. That'll save me a store run next week. And we could put the gallon in this fridge. Okay, I talked myself into it. Thank you. Thank you for agreeing with me. I am inviting you to a t-shirt party that I'm throwing over on my Facebook. It is starting May 18th and I would love to see you there. We are going to be playing games and having a lot of fun for a couple of days. My sister puts t-shirts together. You see me wearing them here on my channel. I love them. The fabric is comfortable. They are good quality. They wash up perfectly. So I would love for you to come on over and join my t-shirt party on Facebook. You know what I just thought of? I was supposed to wash our bedding today. First thing this morning, I was like, I gotta get the comforter off from the bed, put it in the washer so it's dried in time for tonight. I forgot, but I did have that appointment this morning, so I'm gonna use that as an excuse. <laughs> and I am gonna wait and wash bedding tomorrow because I'm on my second load of laundry and then I'm gonna throw towels in and I'm gonna get all that stuff done today in bedding. Will have to be tomorrow <laughs> it's gonna be that time of the afternoon that i need to start thinking about dinner which i already have the chicken marinating and i know i'm gonna grill that and then i was thinking okay so that's summary i want something summary <laughs> i found these in my freezer i already have some missing but you know it's all good but these are the little um corn on the cobs little nibblers niblets something like that so i'm gonna do this on the grill i'm just gonna wrap it up in some aluminum foil, put a little butter in there, and just throw it on the grill with the chicken. And also, I'm gonna make some rice, and I was thinking, how do I bump this up so it's not just plain chicken broth? So I'm gonna cook the rice in the chicken broth. That'll give it the perfect amount of flavor, and I might add some dried cilantro to it too, once it's cooked. So that's gonna be dinner tonight. It's gonna be easy and summery, and yummy. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Mm -hmm.